Hello, it's Rachel and today's project is for the 6x6 challenge over on my Facebook group. There is a link to that in the video description. I'm beginning here by using some distress paints in the colours Crack Pistachio and Peacock Feathers. And once this has dried, I then take a script rubber stamp for the background. This is by Stampin' Up and I stamp this using archival link in the colour Forget Me Not. Since I wanted this piece to have a lot of texture, I've chosen to use some Liquitex light modelling paste with some stencils. The first of which is a crafter's workshop stencil called Mini Cherry Blossoms. Once I've finished stenciling this, I take a second stencil called Mini Mariposas and I choose the dragonfly image from this and again use it with the Liquitex modelling paste. For the text on my piece, I've chosen to use my brother P-Touch labelling machine. I've printed out the text and cut it out and now I'm just arranging it where I'd like it on the page and attaching it. To add colour to both the texture paste elements and the text, I've chosen to use some Cosmic Shimmer Iridescent Watercolours and I mist these lightly, leave them for a few minutes until they're creamy and then use them directly on my page.
After everything has dried, I pick up some archival ink in the colour cobalt and I use this with a piece of Ranger Cut and Dry firstly around the edges and then I switch to a piece of a old credit card and dip this into the ink so that I can add some outlines around the text. This is a stamp set called Wildflowers by Technique Tuesday and I've selected the tiny dragonfly that is part of this set. I'm using it again with the cobalt blue ink and just stamping it randomly into the background. Finally I wanted to add some sparkle to the piece so for this I've chosen some Stickles Glitter Glue in the colour Stardust. I apply this all over the dragonflies and also to the centre of the flowers. That was the last step in today's project, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you're interested in taking part in the 6x6 weekly challenges, there's a link to my Facebook group in the video description. There's also a link there to the full product list and my social media. 